We had an awesome trip to Alabama Hills National Recreation Area in California where we were able to find the nicest campsite in the entire park. Welcome to Muddy Ruts Overlanding. We started this trip headed to Anza Borrego, decided to go to Joshua Tree, and ended up in Alabama Hills, California. After crossing the Tehachapi Pass, we turned north on Highway 14, where we ended up staying the night at Jawbone Off-Highway Vehicle Recreation Area. The next morning we packed up, headed north on Highway 14 to meet Highway 395, and took a quick stop at Fossil Falls. Fossil Falls is an ancient dry riverbed carved into the lava rock. It's a short walk from the parking lot to see the dry waterfall. Since we had such a wet winter this winter in California, there's a lot of growth in the desert. As a result, the mountains to the west of Fossil Falls across Highway 395 are covered in purple flowers. We passed by Fossil Falls many times on our trips on Highway 395, and this time I'm really glad we stopped. There's also a campground you can stay at here at Fossil Falls. This was just a brief stop on our way to Lone Pine and Alabama Hills, but I'm sure we'll be back and we'll probably stay at that campground one of these days. For now, we're back on the road, headed to Alabama Hills. I installed a new bumper, winch, and off-road lights and some 35 inch tires on our Jeep Gladiator Eagle Diesel just so we could take it on trips like this. I knew Alabama Hills was an incredibly popular place amongst overlanders. I was worried we were going to run into a lot of big crowds but we found a relatively deserted part of the park to camp in. And fortunately for us this part of the park had the most magnificent campsite in the park and also the most magnificent campsite that we had ever stayed at. Starting in the town of Lone Pine, we headed west on Whitney Portal Road till it intersected with Movie Road in the park, drove about two miles north on Movie Road till we found a road called the Foral Drive Road. We took that road, headed south, and we found several campsites available off of that road. After driving down that Foral Drive Road for a while, we found one campsite that was particularly magnificent. We investigated a couple more campsites further on down the road and realized that the one we had just seen was just absolutely breathtaking and couldn't be compared to any of the other campsites available on that road. We wisely turned the Jeep around and headed back to that campsite before anybody else would come and grab it. We had a pretty good idea when we first saw it, but when we went back and set up our camp, I think it sunk in that we had found a particularly special place to camp inside of Alabama Hills National Recreation Area. From this campsite, we could look west to the Sierra Nevada Range and Mount Whitney and east past the town of Lone Pine to the Inyo Mountain Range. After getting camp set up, we had to stop and take some time to take pictures and video. The camp was at about 4,000 feet of elevation. We were high enough to look over most of the valley and a lot of movie road and a lot of the other campsites down below. We were at Alabama Hills in early April. There was a near constant wind blowing across the campsite. The temperature was cool except for in the sun where it became pretty warm we eventually had to try out our spring bar awning on our X-Venture XV3 trailer. I took some time to look at our campsite from all different angles. Look at the desert plants growing, the cactus, and the magnificent rock formations all around us and all around the valley. As usual, we didn't really have much of a plan when we left the house, and the plan changed about three times since Alabama Hills was our third choice in locations. We felt incredibly lucky 
to find this special spot to camp in. Alabama Hills is very popular with overlanders, and I was sure we would run into crowds here, but we managed to find a pretty isolated spot in the park. We had our dinner. My wife started making a fire so we could sit down and enjoy the sunset, and we sat back to take in the view and the majestical colors over the mountains to the west with the sun setting behind them. Take a look at this magnificent sunset. We got a good night's sleep in our rooftop tent. And the next morning we unhooked the Jeep, secured our trailer and our camp, and left heading north on Movie Road to do some exploring. When you drive north on Movie Road, you'll find a lot of other roads that intersect Movie Road. Some of those roads are dead ends, but some of them also have campsites that are real nice and secluded and offers you a lot of privacy. If you're still riding along with us at this point, hit that like button, consider subscribing, leave a comment, and most of all, share the video. Sharing's caring, and it helps grow my channel. Thank you very much. This was our first overlanding trip in our Jeep Rubicon Gladiator Eco Diesel, and it performed magnificently. It was just a lot of fun to drive through the desert and through the hills. The off-road tracks weren't extremely challenging. Any vehicle with a decent amount of clearance would have no problem going anywhere we went on this trip. We headed in a generally westerly direction until we reached the base of the Sierra Nevada mountains and then we found a road that headed south, where we ended up coming out at Whitney Portal. At Whitney Portal, we turned around and headed back the way we came, because if we would have driven the road towards Whitney Portal, we would have been back on asphalt. We turned around and stayed on the dirt roads till we got back to our camp. When we got back to camp, we had driven many miles. We decided to just relax for the rest of the day. It had been pretty warm from being in the sun, so we tried out our spring bar tent awning to give us a little shade. I'd been carrying that around for a couple years and had never really used it. This was the first time and it really came in handy. It's simple and easy to put up and it worked out pretty well. While we were at camp, a fellow pulled up and asked us how long we were planning on staying. We told him one night and we were going to leave the next day. He was pretty disappointed because him and his friends have been hoping to get this particular campsite for that night. He also told us that he knew, and he was also told by park rangers, that this was definitely the most magnificent campsite at Alabama Hills. And we didn't plan to come here or stay at this particular spot. It was just a stroke of luck. And in all the years I've camped, I've never really had a place to camp that was this particularly nice. We settled in to enjoy another evening around the campfire and another magnificent sunset at our beautiful campsite at Alabama Hills. If you camp here, you will hear a lot of very loud military jets flying overhead, and it seems as if they're putting their boosters on to make them go even faster, and that's even louder. I guess we're going to call that the sound of freedom. I never had a campsite where every which way you looked was the absolute most magnificent view you've probably seen in your life. And I've been quite a few places, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen a lot of beautiful places. But this is one of the nicest. It was time for us to vacate that beautiful campsite. We packed up our Jeep, packed up our X-Venture XV3 off-road trailer, and headed out, taking one last look at that view to the west of Mount Whitney and the Movie Road Valley in Alabama Hills. And driving out, you could look over to east to Lone Pine and see that there was quite a dust storm down there in the valley. That is Owens Valley down there. Thanks for coming along on our trip up 395 in California to Alabama Hills. And don't forget, you're watching Muddy Ruts Overlanding, and the best is yet to come. Thank you very much.